there's the bucket, two bags. Uh, this is for the challenge. I was challenged by my lovely wife. I nominate Carl Generato, Anna Wilson, and Madison Fiddling. It started with Peter Freitz, and he was a Boston College baseball captain who contracted ALS uh, in 2012. And he began the challenge, and it's just soaked the nation since then. I think it's wonderful. I think it's a great way to create awareness, especially for this disease, which is something that the general public really doesn't know much about. We are taking this challenge for all the members of the Tamarack family and their friends and family members who are afflicted with ALS. It's been really interesting because since we accepted the challenge, um, some personal friends of mine that I didn't even know were afflicted by ALS have emailed me saying that um, their husband's suffering from ALS, their father passed away from ALS. So um, it's been very eye-opening to me how it's touched the lives of people I care about, and I wasn't even aware of it until this happened. Association-wide, uh, at the same time last year, there was about 1.6 million, and it's well over 9 million right now. I don't know why they're scrutinizing it or why they're criticizing. I mean, it is a, a wonderful way to create awareness. It's a fun way. Uh, it would be like criticizing a walk or a run. I think that uh, we need to continue this, and I think that uh, maybe next year, after the furor is over, that we can come up with another challenge and have people going and talking about it because that's what we need. We need awareness out there. We need people speaking about it. Not only celebrities, we need the general public out there. And even if it doesn't touch your life, it's something that's a very, very good cause because we need to find a cure. In Florida, we ask that you send it to alsafl.org to ensure that it goes into the Florida chapter and that we can use those funds to help the ALS patients here in Florida. The Ice Bucket Challenge has provided donations for the ALS research and also something we can all bond over. This is Aaron Sordal reporting.